Wondering what to make with all those zucchinis you have left in your garden? Well, look no further because I have the perfect recipe for you today. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where we really take to heart that food is medicine and medicine is food. Join me in the kitchen for today's recipe, crispy curry zucchini rounds. Begin by taking your organic zucchinis and slice off the ends. And we're going to slice them into about one quarter of an inch rounds. Now zucchinis are really high in manganese and vitamin C, which are excellent for your heart health. And they're also a really great gluten-free food that you can substitute for pastas and breads. And since they have such a mild flavor, you can get really creative with them in your recipes. And just a reminder that whenever you're leaving the peel on a fruit or a vegetable, you definitely want to look and see if you can get the organic kind. If not, you might want to just remove the peel and bake them up just the same. When you're finished slicing all of your zucchinis up, place them into a big mixing bowl. Add two tablespoons of ghee, which is a clarified butter. Now I'm going to use ghee instead of um, other oils like coconut or olive oil because ghee stands up really well to high heat. So if you want to use a different oil, that's just fine. You just want to bake your zucchinis at a lower temperature in the oven. Pour them all over your zucchini rounds and then coat them really well. Just mix everything up. Set your coated zucchini rounds aside and now we're going to make the coating. In a separate bowl, add one quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Now I'm using an organic grass-fed brand that I find locally here that I love and I trust. I also just chopped them up just a little bit smaller to get it into a finer pieces. And you could also use freshly grated here. Now if you're dairy free, you could absolutely omit this and maybe just add in a few more of the breadcrumbs which we'll get to in just a minute. Next add one quarter of a cup of gluten free breadcrumbs. Now if you watch my re recipes regularly, you know that I always alter the recipe to make it gluten free so that I can enjoy them. You can pretty much find anything nowadays that has a gluten free option. One thing you do want to watch out for though in gluten free is to check the ingredients and make sure that there's no corn products in there because it's usually GMO unless it's otherwise stated on the label. Next add one scoop of Organics Clean Source Collagen Powder, which is great in supporting healthy teeth, hair, skin, digestion, muscles, and cartilage. It offers a lot of health benefits. Next add one half to one teaspoon of curry powder, one of my favorites. It's a wonderfully flavorful blend of spices one of which includes cumin seed, which is really great in alleviating digestive problems. Next add one pinch or two of pink Himalayan salt or sea salt. Both are really rich in essential trace minerals. Just depends on your preference, how salty you like things to taste. I'll add two or three. Last, let's add some freshly ground black pepper. Now this is great to add to our recipe because it's going to help our bodies access the health benefits of the curry powder that we put in. Mix up all of these ingredients really well. Take your baking sheet and either line it with parchment paper or grease it with some more ghee. I just usually use my hands when I do this. Just spread it all around just to help the zucchini rounds from sticking. Now we're ready to coat our zucchini rounds. Taking each one, place them into your breadcrumb mixture, coat both sides, and then place them in a single layer on your baking sheet. If your coating isn't sticking very well to your zucchini rounds, just sprinkle a little bit of the topping right on top. That's what I'm finding, especially with the ghee, it can harden on your zucchinis. 
So once you dip it on both sides, I'm taking them and placing it on the sheet and then just taking a little bit extra and sprinkling it right on top. Depending on your size of zucchini, you may or may not have a few left over. I do. So you can either make up some more of this coating or I'm just going to save these for later and use them in my dinner and now my vegetables are already cut up and ready to go. Take your zucchini rounds and bake them in a 450 degree preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes until they become slightly brown on top and nice and crispy. Let's give these curry zucchini crisps a try. It's delicious. It's got a really lovely crunch to it. Tastes a little bit of that Parmesan cheese. And you know you can never taste the collagen whenever you add it to a recipe. It's really great. You can get really nice and creative with these too if you like different kinds of spices. Spice it up a little bit more or you know, reduce it a little bit just to your taste. Give them a try. We truly wouldn't be here if it weren't for you and your support. The best way to stay connected with us is to subscribe to our channel. And the best way for us to stay connected with you is for you to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. 